Nastia, we know you're recovering from surgery, from ankle surgery. Tell us where you are in the process and when you expect to compete again. Yes, I am recovering, but, um, you know, this is kind of one of my um, most, the injury that, you know, it's been going so slow, you know, and I'm not used to these kind of things, you know, the things that I've had before. It's been like a quick recovery, so I'm, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm getting back into things, and I'm really excited, and I'm just, like, so anxious to get back into I'll the bet you are. Hard to sit on the sidelines for an event like this, especially yeah, when you're the defending champion. As you sit here, it seems to me like in a blink of an eye, you went from being the up-and-comer to being the veteran on the team. What goes through your mind as you watch this new crop of gymnasts, like a Sean Johnson out there competing? Are you pushed and motivated? Well, yeah, you know, definitely seeing, you know, people like Sean, it definitely motivates you, you know, to see her competing here at the American Cup, and it's her first year here. So, um, you know, it's, it's really exciting, and, you know, I know how she feels, you know, just being here for the first time with this huge crowd, you know, it's, I'm sure she's nervous and everything, but it, it really is exciting, and you feel really proud to be competing here. Newsweek magazine named you as one of the top 20 people to watch out for in 2007, along with Steven Spielberg and Jerry Seinfeld. Do you feel like that Olympic spotlight is kind of zeroing in on you? Are you starting to feel that heat from something like that? Um, yeah, a little bit. You know, the Olympics are not like, they're not three years away, how, you know, we always used to say. And, you know, they're really coming really fast at you. You know, it's um, about a year and a half away. So, you know, things are really starting to heat up about the Olympics. But I still try to keep it in the back of my mind, trying to focus on one day at a time. You know, just taking the future one day at a time, really. Hey, maybe on the cover next time in Newsweek. Thanks so much. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. Back to you guys.